People probably think I'm nuts. Hey, what is going on YouTube land? Uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the sparkle makers. Okay, so for, um, those of you loyal viewers who come back and watch all my BS all the time, um, thanks for coming back and watching. If you're new to the channel, well, go check out some of my shorts and uh, you'll see what we're talking about. But um, I have been doing reels on Instagram and um, taking them and turn them into YouTube shorts and they're just little uh, clips of some sparkle footage. Um, some people are enjoying it and some people are giving me some flack over it. Um, some people I think are just jealous because they can't do it. <laughs> I don't know. But um, first off let's talk about um, the sparkle makers and what they are. What the uh, sparkle makers are, it's no big secret. It's just three quarter inch titanium round rod welded to a piece of flat stock that is bolted to the uh, floorboard. I'll uh, take a picture of it and post it here. That's all it is. And it does this. Whenever you make contact with the pavement. Um, so that's what they are. The question to why do it? Well, why not? <laughs> Um, but, let's see, um, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but, like, lean angle on a road glide, this particular one, we'll post the numbers, I'll look them up and we'll put them here for left and right and all that stuff. Okay, most people aren't going to take their bike over that far, but, for me it was just something fun to do, to, uh, kind of challenge myself and see how far you can make the bike go over so I mean it's not going over to its full capability with them on there um, granted it's not missing by much but it, it it's kind of like a just a warning thing it says hey um, you might want to watch you know same as if you don't have them on there and you go around a turn and you scrape your kickstand. I've done it. 
Um, I've gone around turns and scraped the floorboard brackets and scraped the floorboards and all kind of stuff. Well, floorboards ain't cheap, so to have something on there that's going to wear before the floorboard or any part of the motorcycle, guess what? That's a good thing. You know? And, uh, I know some people are concerned about it and you know putting stuff in the comments like do you know how hard that is on your motorcycle you're just tearing your bike up no I'm not because what that is doing is that is keeping the floorboard from contacting the pavement and the floorboard is doing what it's designed to do by pivoting upward okay and it's just there to let you know hey buddy you're kind of close you might want to watch your ass so I mean it, that's it's fun but at the same time not only is it fun but it's also a safety feature if I can justify it that way I don't know Maybe somebody will fall for it, BS. <laughs> but yeah, it's, you could call it a safety feature. Um, and I get flack that, well, get a bike that can corner. Okay, yeah, um, little do you know, um, those of you who like to post that, those type of comments, get a bike that'll corner, um, the bike will corner bike corner is just fine okay um you're supposed to be able to find out what your bike's limits are because you never know when you're going to be in a situation and you're going to have to take that bike to its lean limit to swerve and avoid a deer that runs out in front of you or that car that just comes out in front of you in an intersection so it's good to know what your bike's lane limits are and also how your bike is going to react so means that I have the scrapers or the sparkle makers I know what my bike's capable of, I know what my bike will do, okay? And not only that, but since I've put them on there, I have become a more confident and more comfortable rider. Because I'm not worried about that, oh, is it going to hit, is it going to hit, when you're in a turn. I'm, I'm not worried about that anymore. Oh no, I don't want it to... Oh, it's going to hit. Oh no, I'm going to run off. No. Now it's... Let's see if we can make it hit. Not here though, because there's gravel. Yeah, see, so we do ride sensible. Sometimes. And it's not something that I do, as you guys can see, on every single turn. It's not something that I try to do on every single turn. It's something that I know is going to get attention. It's going to get people to watch. It's going to get people to leave comments. And be it nice or mean comments or hater comments or whatever you guys want to call them. You know, positive, negative still an interaction right so I mean it's fun I mean shoot I've got like 1500 views on each one of them and I'm just a little guy <coughs> so somebody's liking them you know but then you do have some people who are just like eh, why are you doing that you know well in essence, because I can. Alright. Um, it's my motorcycle. 
It's my money. If I want to do it, I'll do it. I mean, what other way could I put it? I mean, they they do, like I said, the, the biggest thing that I have found with them is you actually go out, you put them on there, and you're like, yeah, I'll hit those things all the time. All day, every day, I will be hitting them things. Well, no. Because right there was a pretty good kick over. And guess what? They didn't hit. And that's all it took to get around that turn. You know, it wasn't nothing fancy. It wasn't nothing hard. Nothing aggressive. But in some turns, it's fun to be able to take that bike and just throw it over. And leave a spark show for somebody. Or like at an intersection or a red light. You've got traffic stopped. You can take that turn out real wide. And then cut it back real sharp. And just lay into it. And leave sparks fly. And you know the people are like. Oh, what is this nutty son of a gun doing? You know. Maybe one day I'll get somebody. To pull up behind me and be say something. You know. Who knows. But it's attention. We all strive for attention. Right? So I'm getting attention. Thanks to y'all. Plus you guys are helping me create content. <laughs> See? You guys are making it easy. Come on. <laughs> oh, shoot. But, uh... No, they're just... They're on there for fun. Is what it was in the beginning. And then I found out that, wow, it is actually harder to make that hit than what I thought. So, I did some uh, practicing with them on some roads that I know. And more importantly, in some parking lots. And I uh, got a feel for it. And like I said, it has helped me gain confidence for how my bike handles and reacts in situations. Like this. I didn't have to do that. I chose to do it. Why? Because I like it. It's fun. Um, there's a time and a place. Like I said. We don't do it all the time. I've just been able to. Since I got the 360 camera capture some really good um, footage of it. So that is why I do it. And um, I thank you all for watching. But hopefully that helps you guys understand the why and what and all that fun stuff. If you would, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment in the comment section. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel, man. We got a bunch of fun stuff coming up. Don't forget about OWN, our Ohio Windy 9 Moto Meetup. And also, look out on my channel for Thursdays. Because we're doing something special just for the Blue Bike and Doyle. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember, ride fast, lift slow. We'll see you on the next one.